everyone, it's me, Sammy, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this makeup look, which is my everyday makeup look. It's sort of what I sit down and do if I'm filming or if I just want my makeup to look nice for a day. Like, this is just my everyday what products I reach for, my go-to products, and sort of like my little routine beforehand as well because I do cleanse, tone and moisturise before I put my makeup on so it's just a little insight into what I use, what brushes I use and what methods I use to apply my makeup with. So if that sounds like something that you're gonna enjoy watching then just keep on watching. If you do like this video don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe down below and without further ado guys and let's dive into the video. First things first, I've cleansed my face. I used a combination of the Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover, which I used first, and then I went in with the Hydrating Milky Cleanser, both from Pixie, their new Hydrating Milky range. Um, and yeah, I love both of these. I've only just started using them, but they're both really, really good. So that is what I use to cleanse my face. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milky Tonic to tone my face. I'm going to take it on some cotton pads and tone my face with it. I really am loving this range. I just started using it recently, like I said. They kindly sent it to me in PR. I do have a video coming very soon on like a review of the whole collection, trying out all of the products in a skincare routine. And yeah, I've just been absolutely loving it since, so... They're like my go-to at the moment. <laughs> and yes, for anyone wondering, before my makeup every single day, I cleanse, tone, and moisturize. You guys wanted like a more in-depth sort of everyday routine, as it were. You want me to go a little bit more in-depth, so that's what this is. Now gonna go in with the Snow Mushroom Moisturizer from the Inky List. This stuff is amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna moisturize my skin. And make sure you guys are cleansing, toning and moisturising before you do your makeup as well. Trust me, it makes such a big difference. Like, such, such, such a big difference. <laughs> if I'm going full glam as well, I do tend to go in with like eye creams and stuff as well. But it's not that kind of day. This is an everyday makeup look. So I'll normally just cleanse, tone and moisturise. And then we can start with the makeup. Now, my go-to foundation has been for a long time, actually, probably since last summer, um, the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. I love this. I use the shade 3.0, um, and yeah, just, I love this foundation so much. I apply it with a beauty blender. Now, I do use a massive range of beauty blenders. This is the Morphe one that I'm using today, um, but I also use the actual beauty blend, like the original beauty blender. And the Brushworks Beauty Sponge, and just, yeah, there's a lot that I use. There's a lot that I really, really like. The EX1 one is really good as well, but today I've just got the Morphe one handy. <laughs> I just bounce that into the skin. I've been such a big fan of this foundation for ages now, and I do sometimes use it on clients as well, like... When I'm doing clients' makeup, I do sometimes use this if they want that more natural sort of skin look. Um, when I use NARS and stuff, sometimes it can be a bit false looking or a bit sort of like a mask and some people don't want that. This is my sort of foundation that I use in my kit for like more of a natural look. Um, and it just, it blends really nicely. Just gives really nice coverage. Perfect everyday foundation I'd say and I think it's £12.50 around that you can get it in boots super drug now stock it um, and you can get it on their website as well so I'll leave all the products that I use linked down below for you guys just in case you do want to check it out but yeah I highly highly recommend this foundation next up is concealer and I love the new revolution conceal and define infinite concealer it's my go-to concealer at the moment it's Incredible, love it. Um, I sort of go for a combination of C5 and C2. They're sort of like the foundation and concealer shades that I picked up when I did my review for it, but I found that actually a nice mix of them, like half and half combination of these two is like a really, really nice concealer colour for me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand and then apply it with a sponge again. 
And just take it on the sponge and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. So I apply it under my eyes, down the centre of my nose, on my chin and on my forehead as well. And that's my concealer done. Now for powder every day I normally use my trusty Laura Mercier with the little Laura Mercier powder puff. So I just take the powder puff, pop it into the powder and then that is what I use to press it into my skin. I swear by using a powder puff, I absolutely love it for powder. Now I do know that some of the products that I am going to be using in this video are quite high end products but I am planning a video really really soon where I do the same kind of makeup look but I do half of it with what I usually would use and half of it with drugstore alternatives so that you can get the same kind of look with affordable products but I did just want to show you exactly the products that I use in my everyday makeup routine. <laughs> now for contour I'm going to go in with the Park Avenue Princess palette by Tarte. Now this was in my glossy box advent calendar and I like to go in with the shade Carrot right here and that's like my perfect contour shade. Go in with like a fluffy brush. Just blends so beautifully and gives a really really nice colour. Love it. So the way I do my contour is I take it in the figure of three on my face. So I do around the hairline, into the cheekbones, and then around and down. So it's like the figure of three on the face. That is the contouring done. Um, but using the same palette, I'll go in again with the shade Carrot on a smaller brush. And I love to use this for eyeshadow. So I will literally just take it into my crease and just blend that out to deepen my crease and that is what I do for my eyeshadow most days when you see my makeup like this nine times out of ten this is what I'm doing I'm just using my contour shade as my eyeshadow and I'll just go back and forth between the eyes with the shade and just one little blending brush this is a Quivange brush so it's from a Quivange set that I got on Amazon and yeah, I'll literally just go back and forth and blend it until it's like the right shade that I want for this look. That's generally the look that I go for. Sometimes if I just want a little bit of shimmer on my lid as well, I'll go in with the Revolution Foil Frenzy palette and just take one or two of those and just dab that onto my eyelid. Um, but I've been really enjoying this matte look at the moment. Now for blusher, I'm gonna go in with the EX1 Pretty in Peach blusher on a big fluffy brush just dab in tap off the excess and then dust it on to my cheekbones the apples of my cheeks I love to smile and then I'll just dab it here and bring it up towards the contour just to add that little bit of colour to the cheeks now for highlight I've been obsessed with the NYX Born to Glow palette recently and I love going in with this sort of rose gold pinky shade here And I pop that onto my cheekbones. And just link it to the bottom of my eyebrow, like a small C shape from here, round to there. And this is a Brushworks HD brush. Um, I absolutely love this for highlighter. I think it's the perfect shape, the perfect density. Really, really like it down the centre of my nose. I do really love putting it on the end of my nose as well. Some people don't like that, but I love it. And then I just dust it over the Cupid's bow as well. Just like that. Now for my brows, I'm just gonna use this Avon brow brush, which has the spoolie on the end and just a fine angled brush. And then I go in with the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder in the shade free and I genuinely just use the front shade here. And I just use some nice light brow strokes. Just 
to fill in my brow shape. Just run through them with the spoolie as well. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is a really, really good brow gel. But again, I'm going to show you in another video some amazing drugstore dupes as well. Um, but this is my favourite to use, to be honest. To, go, to be completely honest, I, I do love using this brow gel. <laughs> it's just very expensive. So that's the brows done. Now, because it's an everyday look, it sort of doesn't get much more than this. I'm going to do mascara and my lips, but first I'm just going to set it in place with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This, I've gone through two cans of this now. This is my third. I use it a lot. It's so, so good. The smell, the mist, I use this on clients all the time, it's phenomenal. Um, yeah, I can't rate this highly enough, I think it's really, really good. Um, not the best fixing spray in terms of lasting time. Um, it does last really nicely, but I definitely think this is more of a sort of fixing spray in the way that all your powders will melt into your skin and it will look like a flawless base and give you just that sort of dewy glow on your skin. Um, again, it does help with the makeup lasting, but it doesn't make it bulletproof like some um, setting sprays do, but I do really like this for everyday use. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and go in with the Damn Girl by Too Faced Mascara. This is my favorite mascara at the moment. I love it. I need to get a full size because this mini is running out. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to curl my lashes and then go in with this mascara. Just with one coat, you can see how nice this mascara is. I blimmin' love it. <laughs> so mascara done, all that's left is lips, and I've been absolutely obsessed with the Project Lip products at the moment. I'm all about that plumper lip look, so I'm going to go in with the Matte Plumping Primer, and then follow it with the Plump and Colour in the shade Strip. I also do love their gloss, but it's in my handbag downstairs, so I'm really not in the mood to go get it. <laughs> so I'm just going to have the colour on today. So this is the matte plumping primer. And if you love a tingly plumping product, you're going to absolutely love these, because these tingle. They do. So that's a matte plumping primer, then I'm going to go in with the plump and colour, this is the shade strip. It's like a my lips but better kind of shade which I really like. So this is my everyday makeup look done. I hope this answered any questions that you had about what products I use or how I do my makeup. This is basically what I would do if I was just to sit down and film a video. This is the kind of look that I would normally create unless I'm testing out like an eyeshadow palette or something or going to an event and then I do tend to do more out there makeup. Um, but this is sort of like my everyday, everyday kind of look that I do. <laughs> I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. And also let me know down in the comments any content that you'd like to see from me, guys. Any launches that are coming out that you'd like me to review or anything like that. Because I'm always open to hearing what you guys want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.